Pharmacology SAQ-8 Compare and contrast the pharmacokinetics of dexmethadomidine and midazolam. For marks. Introduction Dexmethadomidine is a centrally acting alpha-2 adrenal septal agonist with affinity for alpha-2 versus alpha-1 of 1620 versus 1 that has sedative and anesthetic properties, possibly by activating G proteins in the brainstem which results in the inhibition of noradrenaline release. Midazolam is a benzodiazepine that acts at GABA-A receptors to increase neuronal membrane permeability to chloride ions, which prevents membrane depolarization and causes stabilization of the neuronal membrane. Midazolam also acts on glycine receptors and produces a muscle relaxant effect. The answer can be divided into absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. Dexmethadomidine Absorption. Route of administration is IV, oral, nasal, buccal, or IM. Bioavailability for oral route is 16%, nasal route 65%, buccal route 82%, IV 100%. Route of administration for midazolam is IV, IM, subcutaneous, oral, intranasal, or parectal. Bioavailability for oral route is 40 to 50% due to extensive first pass metabolism. Bioavailability for IM root is more than 90%. Distribution. For dexmethadomidine, protein bound 94%, volume of distribution 1.3 liters per kg or 118 liters, pKa is 7.1. Percent unionized at pH 7.4 is 76%. Dexmethadomidine has high lipid solubility. IV loading dose is 0.5 to 1 mcg per kg over 15 minutes. Watch out for hemodynamic compromise. IV infusion dose 0.3 to 0.7 mcg per kg per hour. Dexmethadomidine shows linear pharmacokinetics. Onset of action via IV route is less than 5 minutes and peak effect occurs within 15 minutes. Duration of action is 60 to 120 minutes after a slow bolus for example, for procedural sedation. Distribution of midazolam. Protein binding 97%. Volume of distribution is 1 to 3.1 liters per kg. pKa is 6.15. 95% is unionized at pH 7.4. Midazolam has high lipid solubility. Half-life KEO for midazolam is 4 minutes. IV induction dose is 0.1 to 0.3 mg per kg. The dose for IV midazolam for pre-induction adjuvant is 0.025 mg per kg. The dose for oral midazolam as pre-medication is 0.5 mg per kg. Onset of action via IV route is 2 to 3 minutes. Via IM or oral route is 15 to 20 minutes. Midazolam is water-soluble at pH less than 4 due to its open diazepine ring. It becomes highly lipid soluble at body pH due to ring closure. This is a pH-dependent tautomerism, also known as dynamic structural isomerism, which results in rapid onset of action following IV administration. Duration of action for IM root is 1 to 6 hours. For IV root is 20 to 40 minutes. Metabolism of dexmethadomidine. Dexmethadomidine undergoes hydroxylation via CYP2A6 and methylation and glucuronidation in the liver to produce inactive metabolites. Half-life alpha is 6 minutes, half-life beta is 2 to 3 hours, contact-sensitive half-life after a 10-minute infusion is 4 minutes, after an 8-hour infusion is 250 minutes. Metabolism of midazolam is in the liver and small intestine via CYP3A4 metabolism to 1-hydroxymidazolam which is the major metabolite and 4-hydroxymidazolam, which is the minor metabolite. 1-hydroxymidazolam is active with half of the parent drug activity and is rapidly conjugated to 1-hydroxymidazolam glucuronide, which is cleared in the urine. 5% of midazolam is metabolized to oxazepam, which is active. Half-life alpha of midazolam is 7 to 15 minutes. Half-life beta is 1 to 4 hours. Contact-sensitive half-life for a 2-hour infusion is 45 minutes, for a 12-hour infusion is 1.5 hours, and for a 72-hour infusion is 4.2 hours for midazolam.
excretion of dexmethadomidine, clearance is 100 ml per kg per minute or about 39 liters per hour. Root of excretion of metabolites is mainly via urine 95%, minimally in the feces 4%. Excretion of midazolam, clearance is 6 to 8 ml per kg per minute. Root of excretion of metabolites is mainly in the urine 90%, minimally in the feces 2%. B. Outline the clinical applications and side effects of both drugs. 6 marks. Dexmethadomidine. Clinical applications includes as a sedative agent in the ICU setting, for pre-medication, for procedural sedation, as an adjuvant during general anesthesia, as a sole agent during general anesthesia, smoothens extubation to prevent bucking or hypertension, for controlled hypotension, as an analgesic, as an adjuvant during regional anesthesia, as an anti-shivering agent, anti-delirium agent, treatment of withdrawal effects from benzodiazepines, opioids, alcohol, or recreational drugs, management of tetanus, and as a neuro or cardioprotective agent that reduces apoptosis. Sedative agent in the ICU setting. Dexmethadomidine is indicated for patients requiring a sedation level not deeper than arousal in response to verbal stimulation, which corresponds to Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale 0 to negative 3. It is not suitable for patients requiring deep sedation. Dexmethadomidine is superior than midazolam in terms of not being a respiratory depressant, not predisposing to delirium, has an analgesic component, Patients are calmer and able to be extubated even with an ongoing infusion, ability to produce cooperative sedation, and helps shortening the duration of mechanical ventilation. Dexmethadomidine is used as a bridge to extubation, as an alternative sedative when others are contraindicated, where the clinician feels an alpha-2 agonist would be beneficial for patients at particular risk of critical care delirium, and when sedation is required, to tolerate non-invasive ventilation in the ICU setting. Pre-medication. In patients susceptible to preoperative and perioperative stress, dexmethadomidine is beneficial for its sedative, anxiolytic, analgesic, and sympatholytic actions and stable hemodynamic profile. Dexmethadomidine has been used for procedural sedation in various procedures such as awake fiber optic intubation, transesophageal echocardiography, colonoscopy, awake carotid and diatherectomy, shockwave lithotripsy, vitreo retinal surgery, pediatric MRI, and pediatric patients undergoing tonsillectomy. As an adjuvant during general anesthesia, dexmethadomidine attenuates the hemodynamic stress response to intubation and extubation by sympatholysis. Due to the absence of respiratory depression, dexmethadomidine can be continued after extubation, unlike other drugs. It potentiates the anesthetic effects of all anesthetic agents irrespective of their mode of administration, enabling reduced requirements of these anesthetic agents and associated adverse effects. When used during GA, there are fewer interventions to treat tachycardia and a reduction in incidence of myocardial ischemia. Thus, it has many benefits when used in cardiac or neurosurgery Dexmethadomidine also has cardiac and neuroprotective effects by reducing apoptosis. Dexmethadomidine has been used as a sole agent during general anesthesia for various procedures, such as laser ablation of a tracheal stenosis, tracheal debridement with stenting, and bronchopulmonary lavage. Dexmethadomidine smoothens extubation. Dexmethadomidine has been used for controlled hypotension. It is a near-ideal hypotensive agent due to its central and peripheral sympatholytic actions, easy administration, predictability with anesthetic agents, lack of toxic side effects, while maintaining adequate perfusion to vital organs. The following operations have been safely done with dexmethadomidine-controlled hypotension, spinal fusion surgery for idiopathic scoliosis, septoplasty, tympanoplasty, and maxillofacial surgery. Dexmethadomidine has significant opioid sparing effects 
and is useful in intractable neuropathic pain as an analgesic. Adjuvant during regional anesthesia. Dexmethodomidine prolongs the duration of both sensory and motor blockade induced by local anesthetics, irrespective of the route of administration. It enhances both central and peripheral neural blockade by local anesthetics and has been successfully used in intravenous regional anesthesia, brachial plexus block, and intraarticular block. Anti shivering agent, anti delirium agent. Dexmethodomidine has been used to treat emergence delirium or ICU delirium. Other uses of dexmethodomidine has been mentioned. Adverse effects of dexmethodomidine include hypotension, bradycardia, hypertension by a peripheral alpha 2b adrenal receptor agonism resulting in vasoconstriction. Withdrawal effects. Long-term use of dexmethodomidine leads to supersensitization and upregulation of receptors with abrupt discontinuation, a withdrawal syndrome of nervousness, agitation, headaches, and hypertension can occur. Dexmethodomidine is category C pregnancy risk used with extreme caution in women who are pregnant. Other adverse effects include nausea vomiting, dry mouth, atrial fibrillation, pyrexia, chills, pleural effusion, atelectasis, pulmonary edema, hyperglycemia, hypocalcemia, and acidosis. Midazolam. Clinical applications include as a sedative agent in the ICU setting, midazolam causes enterograde amnesia. For preoperative sedation or anxiolysis, as an anesthetic agent, for treatment of status epilepticus, for treatment of seizures induced by organophosphorus insecticide poisoning. Adverse effects of midazolam, respiratory depression and apnea, delirium, paradoxical agitation, tolerance, withdrawal, drowsiness, seizure-like activity, nausea vomiting.